If you're a baseball player, then what is in your bag matters to you. But there's thousands of baseball products, so if you're a baseball player or a baseball parent, then this video is for you. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the very best baseball products you can possibly have from gloves and cleats to baseball bats. And also some baseball accessories that you might not even know about. This is everything that you need in your baseball bag. Here we go. We're gonna get started with baseball bags, and there's really only two types of baseball bags, duffel bags and bat packs. Not backpacks, bat packs. If you're a catcher, get something with wheels because your bag's probably over 100 pounds. So the very first product that we have is the Warstick Bat Sling Backpack, and this is perfect. This bag's perfect. It comes in a bunch of different colors. It can hold up to two baseball bats, has room for your cleats, and also has a special holder for your keys and AirPods. That way you don't lose them. Bat packs are typically for position players. You want room for your gloves, cleats, everything like this. This bag has all of that. Plus, it even has a secret compartment for your uniform. That way you never forget your jersey at home. Next up, we have a very popular brand, the Boomba Baseball Bag. This bag holds up to four bats, which honestly you probably don't need. It has room for all your gloves, cleats, extra shoes, everything that you possibly need, this bag will fit it. It comes in a bunch of different crazy styles, so if you want to get wild, you can. Usually backpacks are for younger baseball players and duffel bags are more for high school and college baseball players. For duffel bags, we have two really good choices. We have a Marucci bag and an Evo Shield bag. The reason players like duffel bags is you can kind of just throw everything into the middle of the bag, but both these bags also have room on the sides for you to put your baseball bats, your AirPods, your phone, your car keys, all of those things that you really don't want to lose. This bag has room for everything. Next up, we have my favorite product, which is baseball gloves. I have over 20 baseball gloves, so I have a lot of experience, and these are my favorites. When it comes to a baseball glove, you want something that is high quality that's going to last you a really long time, and my first favorite choice is a Rawlings Heart of the Hide, but the Heart of the Hide, it comes easily broken in, it lasts forever, and they have a ton of different styles. Another great choice if you're looking for a baseball glove that lasts forever is the A2000. Wilson is one of the best baseball gloves you can possibly own. I've had this one for five years. It is still in perfect condition and I highly recommend it. Baseball gloves can be expensive. So if you're looking for a custom baseball glove, they can be really expensive. This is my favorite custom glove I've ever had. It is from Pro Spec Gloves and you can get one for under $250. They let you add a ton of different custom details like this one. I included no backing in the web. They're extremely high quality and this is probably my favorite custom glove I've ever design. Their website is sick. I 10 out of 10 recommend it. If you're looking for a custom glove, you want your name on it, you want to put your logo, something like that, definitely recommend Prospect Gloves. Every baseball player has had a bad experience with baseball cleats. So today I'm showing you the top two companies and some of my very favorite cleats I've ever worn. Starting off with my favorite cleat of all time, the Jordan 1 Retros. They come in both metals, they also come in turfs, they come in high and they come in low. I like the high tops and the one thing I will say about the Jordans is they lasted me an entire season. They're extremely comfortable and they're also the best looking cleat on the market. During my time as a pitcher, I also wore Nike Hirachis. I really liked the high tops for a little bit of extra ankle support. The one thing I will say is they're a little bit heavier. So if you're looking for something that's really, really durable and a little bit more affordable, Nike Hirachis are definitely the way to go. My second favorite cleat company is definitely New Balance. I'm sorry to everybody who likes Adidas. They're a little bit too narrow for my feet. New Balance has some of the most comfortable cleats on the market. The 4040 cleats are amazing. They come in a bunch of different colors. They're pretty affordable. And also New Balance cleats are a little bit wider. So if you kind of have fat feet, they make it more comfortable. When it comes to batting gloves, there's really only one company I'm going to recommend. They are the longest lasting, most durable baseball gloves, and they also have the best looking styles. Bruce Bolt has blown up over the past few years. They have players like Max Clark, creators like Eric Sim, and they have a lot of different styles for you to choose from. They do come in two different options. So they have low cuff and high cuff. I personally like the high cuff better. I feel like it gives you a little bit more wrist support. The gloves feel fantastic and they also last a lot longer. Usually baseball players wear through two to three pairs of gloves in a season. These gloves will last you a lot longer than that. My two favorite models that they have are the Sunrise series and the Father's Day batting gloves. And if you're gonna up your game and get a pair of Bruce Bolts, you should use code Aiden for free shipping. Next up, we have one of the most important things that you need in your baseball bag, which is a baseball bat. There are three types of baseball bats, BB core bats, U-Triple-S-A bats, and wood bats. We're gonna look at the best option for each. Starting off with BB Core, which is usually for high school and up players, it's usually a drop three, and my personal favorite is the Warstick Bone Saver. Warstick makes a bunch of different models of this, but this is definitely the best bat that you can get for a BB Core. I tested it out versus the Atlas and this one. U Triple S A bats are usually for younger baseball players. You can get them in drop five, drop eight, and they have a ton of juice in them. The number one U Triple S A bat, honestly, everybody already knows it. It's the Hype Fire. 
This bat's like hitting with a trampoline, so if you wanna drop bombs, that is definitely the bat for you. When it comes to wood baseball bats, a lot of players don't actually use them in the game. They use them in training and practice, things like that. But if you're looking for some of the best wood baseball bats, then Marucci, Old Hickory, and this is one of my personal favorites, the Big Boy Bats Co. They all are fantastic wooden bats. They have a ton of different models. Get something that you can usually swing in practice. That way you don't have to use your metal bat. When it comes to baseball bats, you probably don't need more than one, but if you do, getting a metal one and a wood one is a perfect combo. Now it's time to get into some of the best baseball accessories that you might not even know about, but you probably need. First up, we have sliding mitts. Baseball players love them. Some coaches hate them. I think they're great. Sliding mitts aren't just for fashion. They do protect your hand. They help you to prevent jamming your fingers into bases. They can also help from getting your hand stepped on with cleats, which doesn't feel good. So if you're looking for a sliding mitt, Evo Shield and Aria make the best sliding mitts in baseball. Aria is a little bit more expensive than Evo Shield. They both work well. They both protect your hand, and those are definitely the best two models. If you're gonna wear a sliding mitt, you have to actually steal bases. Just remember that. Another accessory that every baseball player needs in their bag is glasses. My personal favorite are 100% glasses. They also come in this tough protective case, which if you're a baseball player, you've definitely broken glasses before. The reason I like 100% glasses is they have a bunch of different styles. They're very comparable to Oakley. They're a little bit more affordable and they make baseball style glasses like nobody else. They recently just dropped the Money Mikes. They have Ellie De La Cruz and Fernando Tatis. A 10 out of 10 recommend a pair of 100% glasses. Plus every pair of glasses comes with this case, which means that you can actually keep them in your baseball bag without breaking them. Baseball pitchers are throwing harder than ever. And if you're a hitter, you probably want some protection. If you're looking for either a ankle guard or an elbow guard, Evo Shield is the number one place to get it. There's a lot of companies that make elbow guards, but my personal favorite are Evo Shield. They're worn by all baseball players. If you don't want to get hit with 90 miles an hour in the elbow, then you probably want an elbow guard. Evo Shield, Aria, and there's a few other companies that make some pretty good ones. This accessory might actually be the very most important. You need shoe spray. Your baseball cleats are going to smell terrible, which is going to make your baseball bag smell terrible, which is going to make your parents, teammates, and everybody upset with you. Spend $20, get some shoe spray. Your parents and everybody around you will thank you. You can't play baseball without gum and seeds. So you got Big League Chew, Chinook Seeds, which are two of the best. Just make sure to not let the seeds go to the bottom of your baseball bag. I have a very special announcement to make and I just wanna take a second of your time and say thank you very much for supporting me and supporting my YouTube channel. The channel probably hit 100,000 subscribers today, which is absolutely insane. I started this YouTube channel in 2020 when I was a minor league baseball player to help players and also showcase what minor league life was like. I don't play baseball anymore, but I still have this YouTube channel and I still get to help grow the game of baseball, which is the coolest thing ever. So I just wanna say thank you to everybody who has supported me since 2020 and the fact that the channel hit 100,000 subscribers this year is absolutely wild and I am so grateful for all of your support. In January this year of 2024, the channel only had 7,000 subscribers, which I was extremely grateful for and the fact that the channel now just crossed 100,000 subscribers in the middle of the year is absolutely mind-blowing and I could not be more grateful grateful for your support and I just want to say thank you very much for supporting me to continue to help grow the game of baseball. So be on the lookout for a special 100k drop which I am pretty excited about and as always this wouldn't be possible without my subscribers so if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed.